The Ford government under pressure to ease the strain on hospitals. The Minister of Health is trying to get internationally trained nurses working here faster, while the Nursing Association put out a plea on behalf of its members. They're exhausted and they're suffering from PTSD. They were not built to see the amount of pain, suffering and deaths that they have seen. And that is why many of them are leaving. Ontario's health care system had been strained for years before COVID, but after two and a half years of working through the pandemic under grueling conditions, the union says nurses are now leaving the profession at an unprecedented rate. It's actually truly alarming the number of nurses that are simply walking away from our profession, uh, whether it's due to the stress, uh, some of the working conditions they're dealing with. During the long weekend, 20 hospitals were forced to close ERs. Yesterday, Toronto General put out a warning that three of its ICUs were full due to lack of staffing. Today, the Hospital for Sick Children told City News it too has a staff shortage while dealing with a high number of young patients in ICUs and is under an urgent practice alert, meaning staff can be redirected. The government of Ontario must fund at least, and I mean at least 22,000 RNs just to catch up to the national average. But you know what? We need 30,000. Today, Sylvia Jones, the new Minister of Health, who has been heavily criticized for not publicly addressing the issue earlier, issued these directives to the College of Nurses and the College of Physicians, giving them two weeks to develop plans to register internationally educated nurses and doctors as soon as possible. We're throwing everything in the kitchen sink at this. Premier Doug Ford tried to do damage control yesterday and said the government was moving to bring in internationally trained health care workers faster. I don't know if it will alleviate the problem. It will certainly help. But DJ Sanderson, an ER nurse with the Ontario Nurses Association, says bringing more international health care workers here is just the beginning. We need a proper plan to bring these folks in, mentor, orient, you know, show them how uh, healthcare is delivered in Ontario and how to cope with the challenges. Without any of those supports, this is just going to be another government initiative that falls flat. City News asked the government today just how many internationally trained nurses and doctors it's trying to get accredited sooner and by when. We did not receive a response. Tomorrow, unions are holding a news conference on the staffing shortage, surely putting more pressure on the Ford government, which is trying to tell the public that patients are getting proper care.